Morning, kids. We're going somewhere cool today. Stick around. Caffeine. Uh, Ospate Speed Shop is one of the uh, sponsors of our the event. That way we can uh, make sure there's all the coffee and donuts and stuff. So, if you're in town this today, make sure you go. Also, it's uh, every first Saturday of each month until October. So that's pretty cool. Uh, so what I'm going to do, of course, I'm just going to give Bonnie a little look over. Um, and then, uh, got a few things to do around the house before I go. And, uh, I'm going to go. Hey, check this out. A little, whoop, a little sneak peek. Clyde's had some changes done, which is pretty cool. So, uh, if you don't, it's, it's, basically, it's kind of like a cars and coffee event. And, um, but it's not that. It's just our local thing. Uh, a friend of mine, Austin, he's one of the, um, to organize organizer hey there we go so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go support him and uh we're gonna go uh, me and bonnie yeah, i keep saying me bonnie and i anyway take my girlfriend on a, on a on a drive okay so bonnie's oil checked out transmission checked out um and uh torque on the wheel on the lug nuts all checked out only one thing to do, check air pressure on the tires, and uh, I'm not going to show you how to do that, but, so, my cousin, who has a, it's a T-bucket, and a Cadillac, and a Corvette, and he's got a bunch of cool stuff, uh, he commented in the, uh, in the group, on the event, hey, dust off your cars, and, you know, come down Saturday, I said, uh, I'll come down Saturday. I'm not dusting off my car. No. Bonnie's good to go. I'm just gonna show you what uh, we got going on Bonnie here. Hold on a second. Got a tool kit, a jumper cables, a jump pack in there. Where is it? Right, yep, right there, over here. We haven't had to use, right, yep. battery you know Bonnie's all good to go in here right there to look at so we have our 1928 model a cut down oh, coopster I guess named Bonnie you guys have all seen her she's got her 347 ready to roll c4 manual valve body rolling on some cool bias plies She's ready. And uh, my brothers always come with me, the drifters. So anyway, we're gonna get going here pretty quick. Oh, hey, don't look at that. Don't look at Clyde. Oh, no, well, you can look at Clyde, I guess. He's gross. We're gonna have to finish this at some point and get it up over there. Cause, you know, it's in the way. We need to finish cleaning up in here. And, uh, but, I think you can ask for a better day than this. Yeah, look at that. Maybe we should take Truck Norris. Mess with everybody? Not take that guy? Take that guy? Just look at that though, man. Hear that? See the crews coming off? Yeah. Oh. Beautiful day. Look at that. 
All right, enough messing around. All right, so we all know hot rods are dangerous, but in the garage? So check this out. I was putting gas in, you know, this right here. This is right there. And as I was walking, there was something on the floor. Dangerous, right? So I, and I got it right like that, right there. Yeah, dangerous. Maybe I should take truck Norris. <laughs> All right, so everything seems like we're ready to roll. Birds singing, go see Travis, right? Hey, speaking of Travis, he's putting on a fundraiser in about a half an hour from now to raise money for the uh, girls basketball team for the high school here. And uh, he's doing a cornhole tournament. And he put out on social media, if anybody had anything to donate, you know, maybe it's like some giveaway swag or whatever. Um, that'd be cool. So, uh, we donated a uh, t-shirt and a hat that we had left here. Um, so, he was uh, really happy to do have us do that. And, uh, you know, come on, we'll see him. That's all there is to it. There, I mean, there's his number for crying in the mud. Thanks, Derek, for letting me steal that one. So, I'm gonna think about whatever and do some things and yeah, maybe I'll fire that one up, get ready to go soon. Stick around. All right, so Austin sent me a text and he's like, where you at? And I was like, what? And he goes, it's Saturday, cars and caffeine. And I was like, Shh. I was like, oh no, my car's in pieces. And then he sent me a screenshot of a text that I said, it was like, yeah, I should be there Saturday. So I'm just gonna go. <laughs> I'm not gonna even tell him I'm away. Fun. So anyway, let's see if Bonnie's gonna start nice. I don't even know why I'm worried. She's so good. See you when we get there. Oh yeah. Peyton's say goodbye. Uh, she's got a cough, and I don't think she wants to be rolling in here. So she's got a good idol going. I think the timing I messed it should be working okay. I got about 60 pounds of oil pressure. Let's cruise, baby. It's very windy, but gorgeous. Yeah! All right. We're still driving, right? We're going to go past the law enforcement center. But, I mean, nothing. You know, I'm not doing anything wrong. Yeah, I make a little bit more noise, but... Make some more noise for the boys in blue, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. All right, here's Austin. He doesn't like the camera. Nope. But he's just gonna tell a little bit about the whole idea behind uh, Cars and Caffeine event. This is what, third year? Third year, yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cars and Caffeine, it's very, very simple. There's no trophies, no pressure. We live in a huge, diverse community. No trophy? Of, no trophies, nope. I paid? No. You get, you, get the come and, you get to come and hang out and see the awesome cars. That's the fun of it. So wow. there's no fee to come in here. You don't have to pay anything. And everybody's always worried that their car ain't show worthy. Well, we don't care. Uh, we want to see it. We want to see the cars. We want to see something cool, different. If you don't think you fit in, well, you do. And that's just the way it goes. So we want, we want to see all the cars that are hiding, hiding in the garages, not being driven. There's a massive amount of them up in this area. So this is just an attempt to try and get them out of the garages and come and hang out. And there's no rule on how long you stay. You just show up, hang out, and go home when you want. So. Cool. Yeah. There's a, by the way, it's a 66 Chevelle, two-door hardtop, just down the street from me. He wasn't outside. I was gonna pull in and be like, get in your car, dude, let's go. Yeah. Well, that's the thing. Invite anybody. He's hiding. Yep. Invite anybody you can, and just tell them to bring their cars, even if it's for thirty minutes. That's okay. Come by and come by and check it out. Truck Norris is coming. There you go. Yeah. No right. problem. Thanks, brother. All right. All right. Here we are. Cars of caffeine. Twenty twenty four. June. All right. You know what? That's not my car, but wow. It's twenty twenty nine. Here, let me turn this around. Yep. Yeah, it's a, he's cooler than me. 
He's got a flat head and, you know, he's cooler. He's got a good look, though. Oh, yeah. These are, I right, got 820s, that's it like that, but he's got the dirt track and the groovers. That's cool. All right, we got Chevrolet. Charles's Hellcat. Look at that thing. Can't beat this with a stick. These guys are cool. That's what I'm saying. Right here. These guys. You guys have all met Manny. Still doesn't have a catchphrase. He tried to steal mine. Got us a third gen luxury coolness. Tempest. Look at that. Some motorcycles. These are loud. Kind of rude. Austin's hiding from me right there. Look at that. You never see those things, ever. They're my cousin's Nick's Corvette. He's the one that said I had to dust my car off. And I was like, nope. And charge me. And there's the, the bald guy in the Hawaiian type shirt right there. That's him. Bunch of people. G body. This one says bone stock on the back. I don't believe it. So, pretty cool. Oh, we've all seen this guy. Car show. All right, so this right here belongs to that guy in the red shirt. Yeah. Hey, Jim, how you doing? Hi. How are you? Not bad. All right, so there's Donovan's car. Oh, Austin's going to try to hide. This is the guy who's putting it on. Yeah. Who robbed me of some money. <laughs> you know you did. He put the guilt trip on me. No, he didn't. That is totally fair. He's like, you drank coffee for free the last two years. There you go. Another NSX. Oh, Peyton and I saw this one yesterday. Can't remember where, but we saw it. Got that one. Man, oh. The bus has got slicks on her. All right, K5 Blazer to the drive. Yeah, I'll tear it up. Uh oh. There's Charles, who's probably trying to figure out how to put my car in his trunk. <laughs> it's good to see you. Good to see you too, bro. And then you got expensive stuff right here. Oh. We all know who owns this. This one's kind of junky. Spent time talking to him. He's parked next to my junk. Super cool dude. This one's been around a while. I love this car. If I remember it, it's got a 351 in it. Let's see. It's the same one. I don't think it is. Oh, yeah, it is. 351 in there it was. Oh, my goodness. Just look at this. This is what you could be looking at today if you guys would have shown up. This is probably one of the best turnouts so far. He came to the car show. First or second year? It's rowdy. Ah, it smells good though. So this guy is the one who said I had to dust my car off before well, I got here. Well, it would probably fall apart if you did. No, not this is the good one. Oh. Yeah, it's not the junk. Not everybody can be cool like Charles. <laughs> so, when you you know what you did? <laughs> Doing it on purpose now. <laughs> yeah, you have your red key. <laughs> See? Uh oh. He's I told you he does it on purpose. Ready to drag Corvette's asses. Yeah. You can say ass. It's okay. It's not the F word. Yeah. It's Nick. We were in the army together. We've got the same body shape, haircut. For and because we're related for 25 years 30 years it's been a while 30 years <laughs> what'd you bring today just my c7 nick's going through a midlife crisis it's okay yeah I, he's gonna bring his mullet back we're gonna turn 50 here so i figured i needed a corvette so there's no uh, no reason not to go with the flow mm -hmm. I, I had to take the new balance off though my feet were starting to get tender he has sketchers on though in the hoochie daddy shirt yeah, I, got, I didn't have jean shorts He's got cargo shorts, Dude, uh, Hawaiian types, Skechers, bald beard Corvette. 
and you, I just took you. the New Balance, the white New Balance. I just put in the trunk. Yeah. So you guys tell me if he's going through a midlife crisis. I am. Yeah. I am. Charles isn't yet. Yeah, he is. When he gets that, <laughs> when he when he pulls when he pulls up to Christ and is like, I want that demon on the showroom. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Guys, mid is three hundred fifty thousand so far. You be, you better call me when you buy it. You know you're gonna. All right. So Nick's got a tea bucket for sale, or he might. Twenty seven Roadster. Red. Red with uh, a little bit of ghost flame, suicide front axle. I've driven it. Uh, just a 400 small block with a turbo 400. Yep. Hopefully have it here, put together here in the next couple weeks, month or so. He's been saying that for two years. I'm close. I'm close now. Yeah. I found some time. I found he, some time. He's close. He found the key. And uh, <laughs> I think I know where it's at. That's why I keep mine in them. Uh, so hopefully have that already done here. Hopefully by 4th of July, but we'll see. Nick's into the high horsepower, like, blow your hair back. Clearly did it. Lost it all going Yeah, I did it. I did it when I was younger, and it's still hanging on a little bit. Mm -hmm. It's uh, pretty entertaining. Yeah. I was hoping he had his Cadillac here. Uh, and then, then I was going to ask him for a ride home. I was just going to put the hot rod in the trunk. The Cadillac got angry with me last week, so that's up on the lift that it can stay there for until oh. it's out of... It knows what it did. It, it knows what it did. It's in, it's being punished right now. Timeout. Like Clyde. Clyde's it, a timeout. It isn't a timeout. It's fucking irritating. Oh, whoa. There it was. My bad. I apologize. I'm going to tell your mom. She knows, but. I'm going to tell my mom. Well, that don't help either. I don't. No. Same. <laughs> cool, brother. <laughs> Late edition. Oh, yeah. Look at that guy. All right, we're heading out, kids. See you at home. All right, we're good to go. See you at home. All right, kids. If it's gorgeous where you are, even if it's not, get out of your car. Right now. Well, not for the video. Then do it. Cock it. You only get so many days to drive them. Today's one of those days. See you at home. All right, kids. I will say that that was a fantastic ride. You know why? For the what? That's all there's to it. Anyway, Bonnie did fantastic. It was funny. Bonnie's fantastic. I think I had the timing thing kind of figured out. I mean, it's it's not perfect, but it's it's just it's like right there. So I think we're gonna roll with it for now. Anyway, just want to say I appreciate uh, everybody coming up and they're talking about their cars and talking about this car and talking about. I mean, I actually I kind of forgot to record. And uh, right before I left the. The couple with that Jeepster that uh, right at the end there came up and we were talking as I was getting ready to leave and uh, they knew Mr. Bob from uh, other Je from the Jeepster Club of Minnesota or whatever they called it. And anyway, Mr. Bob, I'll tell you what, if you haven't seen his stuff, well, I don't think you have because I don't know if I recorded it or not. It's, it's turquoise and it's a small block and it's beautiful, man. It's beautiful. Also, Manny. Don't think I'm not going to be sporting my touch of class Cadillac. Love you, brother. Anyway, so I hope you guys enjoyed Cars and Caffeine June 1, 2024. Because uh, hopefully, we're going to be getting to more of them. There's another next one coming up first Saturday in, for, first Saturday in July. Um, also, last thing. We are still doing that uh, pay forward giveaway for the Whiskey Dents Lomax giveaway. Now, I'm going to put a link to the video you need to comment on so you can get a chance to ten, for 10 wins, 10, op 10 chances to win. Yes. Remember, the rules will be in that video. You have to you just follow those. And I am going to be doing a second and third place too as well. So, um, Maybe I'll give you a scotch break on the floor over there, you know, that one. No, I'll make it cool. You know it will. Anyway, uh, kids, I hope you enjoyed uh, this little video. It was such a great time today. It's such a great, I will say that the car community is awesome. Um, and uh, if you have the chance to become part of it, or even if you want to just go and meet these people and see their cars, they'll welcome you. I know they will. Coolest thing, little boy, got right there.
took a picture. His dad would thought that was pretty cool. I'll tell you what, I love when little kids love uh, seeing these. And as I was on my way out, two little ones walked with their mom. And I got to the stop sign down there. Bye! Waving at me and stuff, so that was awesome. A couple old lady, older ladies give me the thumbs up and a smile and a wave. And uh, one dude rolls his window down, stuck his arm out. He's like, yeah! And I'm like, ah! <laughs> anyway, keep on wrenching, kids. Have a great one.